Hey guys, this is Tono and today we managed to get the silhouettes for this patch and we've also got this little update to the article that went out yesterday. So I'm going to talk about this little update here because honestly, I think it's amazing. I think that this is great and I honestly think they should have just said, hey, we changed it based on you guys' feedback because even if it wasn't changed based on that, it, it's an amazing thing that they've kind of like that's coming out here. So they basically said that, look, yesterday we said that you're going to need difficulty three to be able to unlock and uh, have fully unlock um, Apocalypse. Uh, I just think it's even said fully, I said finally, finally unlock Apocalypse. However, it's only going to require you guys to have difficulty two. So you're only going to need gear tier 16 to be able to unlock Apocalypse at five yellows and two reds. You're not going to need gear tier 17 or the ISO blue. So that is really good. Um, this means that honestly, you can start preparing now a fair bit. You can get all these characters up to gear tier 16 as soon as they come out and everything. Obviously for newer players, just think about this like Dark Dimension, like, Newer players, you can't expect, like, you're not going to be getting Dormammu very quickly. This is going to be very similar to, like, a new kind of Dark Dimension kind of style character. And I'm hoping that they continue on this because, honestly, this is amazing and I really like this idea. Uh, then we also had these. Now, I want to apologize. Someone was getting shitty yesterday because I have my son in my videos all the time. Um, apologies. I <laughs> do these early in the morning and early in the mornings when I'm looking after him. So um, hopefully you guys are okay with Ollie being here. Um, so these are the portraits from this coming patch here. It's unfortunate that they like reveal half of them already, like Deathlock, Viv, and Hulkbuster. So we already know all of those. Um, and then the other two are pretty obvious um this one here obviously is abomination you can see the spiky ears the fish fish like ears the fish have ears not really uh <laughs> spikes on their head um obviously abomination there um and then the last one here is valley flying um finally coming to join the gamma squad i mean it does look like valley a bit but it's uh actually a Mattias cho it looks like they are going to call him a Mattias cho rather than brawn which i'm a little disappointed about i was really hoping that they call him brawn because that's been his name for the last four years or something like that um and interesting fact that we're going to be getting so many of the champions uh we've already got viv we actually have a look at the champions that we that Hello. Hello. Yes, you're talking. The champions, uh, the main roster here, we've got Miss Marvel and then we've got Viv and then we've got like Braun, we've got Ironheart, we've got, um, who's the other one? Spider-Man Miles, and even like um, they've mentioned that Moon Girl's going to be coming to the game. So um, I'm pretty interested to see if they end up making a champion squad. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to be getting the Gamma squad, which means obviously Red Hulk being not next patch, coming the patch after that. And I know so many people are excited for that, being the Horseman of War. Um, you can you can pretty much guess that he's going to be like if you count one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven so it, he's going to be roughly around the same kind of time period um we know that morgan lafay is going to be next patch um uh, yeah next patch the actual next patch not the patch after that one um with her second run for her um for her uh, Scourge events. So uh, I know a few people are pretty excited about getting more stars on her and everything. Hi, Giggles. All right, so I'd love to hear from you guys as to what you think. I, I think this one's pretty obvious. Abomination, Amadeus Cho, we've heard the rumors about them for a while, and it looks like it's gonna be matching to that. I think that we've got nearly everything right this patch. The only things not confirmed so far are, um, what? Uh, the Hulk reworks? Hulk and She-Hulk rework? Maybe they don't end up doing those. Who knows? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do them, though. Um, announce them. Like, they probably announced Hulk and She-Hulk reworks and uh, Red Hulk on Friday in strike time and on the blog. And then um, from there, we'll see as to how they go. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this change here. Whether it's a change or whether it's the original intent, I'm not sure. And then the, uh, obviously, these as well. But that's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.